Hi, I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. Intertrigo is nothing but an infection happening in the body folds. So naturally, the body folds are areas where there is a lot of accumulation of sweat, oil, dust and dirt. All these four things can get accumulated in these regions. So commonly, intertrigo is common in the toe web spaces because the spaces between the two toes are a little bit less and especially that is true for the last two you know, web spaces that is between your fifth and fourth and fourth and third toes. So in these regions commonly we can develop intertrigo. Not only that the intertrigo problem is also common in groins especially when people are very obese because in that body fold especially when people are obese whatever the sweat is accumulated it does not dry. So when there is an obesity, there is a risk of intertrigo even in other body surfaces. Any infection on the body is taken care of by the immunity. However, when the immunity of an individual is less, they are more prone for infections. So what are the situations which reduce the immunity? One is a bad nutrition. So whenever the nutrition is not proper, overall the health comes down. So keeping a good nutrition like having a lot of fruits and vegetables is very good. Second aspect is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D has a major role to play in the immune system regulation and whenever it is low, it can make you more prone for infections. So check your vitamin D levels. And third thing is medical conditions like uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or any cancer treatment or any infections like human deficiency virus infections. So these infections or medical conditions, they slightly lower your body immunity. In those situations, intertrigo is common. Other thing is whenever there is excessive sweating, see some people have a habit like they have a tendency to sweat even if they are sitting in an AC room. So when the sweating is too much, then the skin becomes sodden and that makes it more prone for infections. So this is called as primary palmoplantar hyperhidrosis and in this situation you can get a lot of fungal infections or even bacterial infections in the body folds. So these are some common causes for intertrigo and not to forget that even our occupation also makes you prone for intertrigo. Like for example, when you're working in a damp environment or you're working with a lot of water contact, in those situations naturally you're prone for fungal infections. So whenever you see an intertrigo, how do you prevent it? Keep the area clean and dry. So if there is a tendency for excessive sweating, take bath daily two times with lukewarm water. Don't use very hot water and preferably you can use an antiseptic containing soap or a body wash to reduce the bacterial and fungal load for some time. Do not use antiseptic body washes or soap for a longer duration because our body also has lot of natural bacteria which are protective. So if you use these products on a long term, so then you'll be killing the natural protective bacteria and then the disease causing bacteria will proliferate on the skin. So for that reason, never use an antiseptic body wash or a soap for a long duration. It is only just like a treatment. When you have a problem, you have to use it for some time and stop it. Second aspect is you can use vinegar, diluted vinegar between the toe spaces to reduce the bacterial load. Many a times what happens is there is pseudomonas colonization when there is maceration of the skin. So that makes your skin look greenish bluish in color. So that can be effectively treated with diluted vinegar. And third aspect is get your medical tests done to check for any other medical illnesses. And whenever there is a maceration with itching and redness, you need an antifungal cream. Usually a ketoconazole cream can be used. But if the infection is severe, do contact your dermatologist because you will have to take some antifungal tablets also along with this. So by maintaining hygiene, keeping the area dry and targeting the underlying medical conditions and doing the appropriate treatment at the right time, you can prevent and treat the intertrigo.